Hello everyone, greetings to you all. Uh, I'm in from Jamstick Studios. Today we're going to learn how to model a rope uh, with a knot in sketcher. So, over right here, I'm going to show you how to control the vertex uh, in this model. We have to adjust a few things looking at this image. So, the first thing I'm going to use the BZ toolbar in the click on polyline. Then I'm going to draw a path on the image of the rope and then trace it all around as I'm doing. So after I'm done clicking my points, which is the, I'm creating brackets using the spline, uh, which is the polyline tool to go all the way around to get the shape of this uh, tight knot, which will be in 2D form. So after I'm done, I'm going to adjust the vertices uh, to the elevation so we can have those that are intersecting to have um, something like a bypass. So we have, looking at the rope, you can see uh, the rope goes down and some comes up. So I'll use the help of the um, edit vertices tool to control the point in SketchUp or we call it vertex. Yeah. So the vectors I need to control them. But looking at this, uh, if you draw direct and use the cut mode, you can't be able to adjust the elevations. So what we're gonna do is we will not convert it yet. But we need to adjust the vertices by moving them up and down okay so after we're done we look at how good uh, we can have the rope moving above each other without it intersecting so we need a clear view of this so uh, as you can see here i was trying to uh, show you how it looks like into this so here you can see uh, the snatch is overlapping okay all the the spine which is drawn are lying down flat so i click on the vertices tool and then i'll shift or move the end point or you can say i'll move the vertex of the spine to have a bypass between so you can look at the rope some is crossing so this i move the line is crossing down and then here i move it a little bit up so, I adjust the vertices so that the row can be easily uh, drawn. Okay, so you have this, there's no way you can just create once and then have it done. So, you need to move the vertices down. Uh, looking at the picture of the uh, as our profile, you can see where it crosses, I move the vertices up. And then the one which is down below each other row. I push it down okay so you need to have the uh, edit vertex to to work as i'm doing so i'll click on the points look at the teacher you can see this rope goes up so i need to move the two vertex um, up okay then um, areas that i see looking at the rope which is giving me the picture is giving me a guide so when we check in 3D view, you can see uh, there's a little um, overlap. It is not intersecting though. So I'll convert to the cut mode spline that we can see how it looks. You can see over here in this it looks a little bit um, clean. But we don't have much space, so I need to move it down. When you do it this way, you have problem controlling the spline. So which I otherwise not to start editing um, your vertices in the cut mode convection. Okay, so here I'm demonstrating where you see the difficulties on what you need to understand how it works before you try to convert uh, anything to um, the cut mode spline. Okay, so here um, I change, I use the segment of the Cycle because I'm going to use something when I'm done. 
subdivision tool. Um, and then I use the uh, curvy lift. Uh, so I'm sweeping the spine and the profile. You can see we have the tide knot as displayed, but it is not clean. You can spend time to adjust the poly line. Okay, so here um, I'm showing you again how to adjust the vertices. So we sweep both the profile and the spine together using the vertices tool. Uh, sorry, the uh, curvy tool. Okay. Um, all right. So. I'm working around the rope. We already have this shape done, but when you're working, you still think it is um, intersecting too much, you can still adjust the vertices or the endpoints. Since uh, I made a group, so I have to edit group and then uh, adjust some of them, some of the vertices up down. I shape them a little to have a clear view of what I'm doing. Uh, it shouldn't look too perfect. Um, for realism, I'm, I'm not going to do the whole twist movement. We need to have a bit tight. So looking at it from the top view, I adjust the spine and then it practices to have a good and a clean 3D model. So that is what I'm doing now. Um, keep in mind, we need the edit practices to, to do this adjustment. Okay, so. Um, also, you need patience to do all this. So now I've convert uh, as looking at this, I need to convert it from the polyline to to the cut mole spline. So that one have the clean curvature of the spline, and we sweep the profile to it. So you, as you can see on the screen, I've convert from polyline to cut mole spline. Okay, um, so this is the spine using the pair of the loops. And um, you will always have to check your spine and profile to see how it intersects before you accept it. So, with this, after I'm done, I just have to uh, change the smoothness to show edges in sketch up. Um, I need it to be a, a little bit edgy to reduce how heavy the file is going to be because when I'm done, I will apply um, the or subdivision to, to smoothen the rough edges. Okay, so this is what we have now. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and then if you have any questions, you can drop your questions in the, um, the comments and then I'll follow up from there as well. You can follow me on my Facebook page uh, which is Jamstack Studios as well. So this is how easy you can do it. The previous one I did uh, since much technical because I have to show you like I'm doing a road design you need to have a profile and an elevation keep on shifting. So you can see here, this is what we have, imitating exactly what we have in the image. You can have time, spend time to, to work on it. Those that are not really clean, you can adjust the endpoints or the vertices to suit how you want it. Uh, it is sad SketchUp is not having um, the parametric spline that you can control with the profile to have the whole sweep like this. Uh, I normally use my 4D and it is easier they are doing this. If I get my feedback and my response um, easily. But feel free to use any software you want. Um, I love SketchUp and um, I encourage everyone or whoever is using SketchUp to uh, keep on using. Okay, here it is the um, Fido uh, True Paint. So I apply it to get my um, texture now it looks rough so I just have to use uh, uh, the plugin for texturing so the plugin I use for texturing is Video Tool which is the uh, TruePaint 
Okay. Um, if you want to know more about the true prints you can check from uh, YouTube, just uh, look for true prints or just look up. You get if you get more information from it. So for now, this is how to do your 3D group in SketchUp. Um, so well I think thank you for watching and see you next time. If you have any comments, don't forget to leave it in the YouTube channel and then I'll follow up with it. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Um, yeah.